What up, gang? Carolina Jackpot Time coming at you. It's Sunday afternoon, uh, December 3rd, 2023. There's a lot of upset people in the world today. Uh, a lot of upset people over in Clemson, South Carolina, and a lot of upset folks down in Tallahassee, Florida. I'm here for you. I absolutely am here for you. Come sit down on the imaginary couch beside me. Let Dr. Jackpot put his arm around you, pull you tight, and uh, take you down the road to that safe space that we need to deliver you to. Before we get into all that, make sure that you guys do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up on this Carolina Jackpot video if you do enjoy the content here. And uh, if you don't, hit it with a thumbs down. It doesn't really matter to me. Any kind of reaction means that there was an interaction, and that's good for Carolina Jackpot. Also, consider subscribing to this channel if you're new around here, consider staying true around here. We do these kind of videos all the time, and we have a lot of fun with it. As much as you folks don't like to admit it and you don't want to hear it, you know exactly what I'm going to say. College Football Playoff Committee got this thing right. And that's a good thing. Because they didn't get it right last year. They put the four best teams in. Florida State, I'm sorry. The, the college football gods dealt you a very, very unfriendly hand a couple of weeks ago when Jordan Travis broke his leg. They dealt Jordan Travis a very unfriendly hand. Uh, I mean, and uh, against a team that you would have beaten by 40 if he wasn't even playing, which you did beat by 40, plus with him missing the majority of the game. I don't understand it. I don't understand why these crazy kind of things happen. But I'm not saying that you, with a healthy joint, you did what you had to do to get to the college football playoffs. I can't say that you're undeserving. But you're not one of the four best teams with your best player, the most important cog in the offensive wheel, not being able to play. And it sucks. Uh, I know all about college football life sucking uh, my team's been dealt that same shitty unfriendly hand for over 100 years and i've been watching it for 40 of those i know it's terrible uh, however they cannot have a repeat of last year and that was that would be exactly what we would have uh if they let florida state in there Michigan, who's the number one team right now, they would dog walk that team by 30 points plus, And you know it. You absolutely know it. You know, we got people here, there. For, I mean, the Clemson fan seems to be coming to Florida State's defense more than anybody. It ain't fair. It ain't fair. Let me show you a clip of one. That's from Facebook. I ain't going to be watching the college football playoffs this year. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, you yeah you are. Yeah, you are, Tater Man. You're going to get your case of natural light and your biscuits and gravy or whatever it is you hillbillies chow down on before y'all watch a game on your black and white television set. You're going to be watching that college football playoff. Don't lie. I mean, you're coming to the aid and defending Florida State. There's people... Say Florida State needs to get out of the ACC now. We need to get out of the ACC now. But just, just get out of the conference. It's trash. If it's SEC, it's SEC bias. Look, no. How many times was the undefeated Clemson team left out of the playoffs because they were in the ACC? None. They none. They weren't. But if Trevor Lawrence had sustained a broken leg two weeks before the season ended in 2018 or whenever. Uh, and, 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 or 2019, you know, and he had to be replaced by Tucker Israel or whoever your backup quarterback was at the time. It couldn't hit the broad side of a barn. Then you'd probably have been left out too. It's just the way that it is. It's very unfortunate. And, you know, as a college football fan, you hate to see anybody like that get hurt. That's got a promising career. But, but modern medicine being what it is, he'll heal up. He'll be able to go have an NFL career. I think he'll be a good player in the NFL. But for some reason, fate dealt you an unfriendly hand. 
And those people saying that Alabama doesn't deserve to be in there because they won on the fourth and 31 against Auburn. If it hadn't been for that, I mean, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. Well, you know, are we also going to turn a blind eye to the fact that they beat the best team in the country for the past two calendar years, beat them for the first time in two calendar years, had won like 29 straight ball games in a row, beat them in a conference championship game yesterday? No, I mean, we can't. As much as you don't want to admit that either, Alabama is one of the four best teams in the country. And I'm not sitting here as a simp for the SEC. As my podcast partner, Rob Sanders, likes to say, the SEC lower back tattoo people. I mean, that, that, that's, just a, that's just a coping mechanism. That's all it is. They're conference champions of what's widely regarded as the best conference in college football, and they deserve to get into the thing. And... You know, Florida State will go play in a New Year's Six Bowl game with their true backup quarterback who should be available for that game against Georgia, and we'll see how they stack up there. I mean, I think they're going to get mollywhopped unless we see one of those um, situations like we saw a few years ago with Georgia when they had to play Texas in the Sugar Bowl and hashtag didn't want to be there and uh, didn't show up and got beat down by a team that they were better than. It's it's interesting, guys. It's very interesting to speculate about, and uh, I'm here for all of it. Like I said, Dr. Jackpot will be here for you uh, to give you therapy uh, if you need it. Um, you, you can bounce anything off of me that you want to. And please, uh, here, here will be the comment that we see in this video. What's Coop fan know about the, the playoffs? What, what's the Coop fan talking about the playoffs for? Well, because I have a set of eyeballs, that's why, and a brain that works, and I can actually see and uh, talk about what I see uh, with some sort of knowledge. So, anyway, I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Uh, live show tonight, 9 p.m., the Robin Kell Show. We have a winner in our Callaway's College Football Pick'em Challenge. Just not sure who it is yet, but somebody uh, is going to be the proud recipient of over $2,000 uh, for your nice efforts in winning the Callaway's College Football Pick'em Challenge this season. So I'll see you guys later on. Appreciate it. Peace, and I'm out of here. Probably be some big transfer portal news tomorrow from South Carolina. As I told you in the video Friday, brace yourselves, Gamecock fans. It's probably going to be ugly. But, hey, the portal giveth and the portal taketh away. So, hopefully, it'll give us something. They've already offered a, a wide receiver from Purdue. Um, I don't know about that. Uh, looks like the guy's been injured a whole lot in his career. So, I guess he'd fit in kind of perfect in Shane Beamer's system, wouldn't he? That was kind of an ugly joke. I'll see you guys later on. I appreciate it. Peace. I'm out of here. Still, go Gamecocks. Uh, big basketball game coming up Wednesday night against Clemson in uh, Little John Coliseum. What I refer to, um, the, uh, the the uh, Death Valley is the uh, is the septic tank of the Upstate. I guess Little John Coliseum is like the sump pump of the Upstate, uh, or the uh, the uh, the broken toilet of the Upstate. <laughs> I guess we'll say Carolina Jackpot might be attending that thing. Uh, if I am and uh, if I go to it and you're a Clemson fan, hey, uh, give me a shout out. Uh, maybe I'll autograph your forehead or something. I'll see you guys later. Appreciate it. Peace. I'm out of here. Go Gamecocks. Uh, 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 woo!